Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will show you how to extract data from an IFC file. In my example I received an IFC file of this residential building and I want to extract data about all of the doors in the project and my desired output is a simple door schedule with the door type information, the door name, some information about the function and fire rating and the most important thing is the count of each of the door type. So how do I do that? How do I extract data from IFC file? For the data extraction I will be using Blender BIM software. So I will open my IFC project. Blender BIM is free open source software, so anyone can use it for free and the link will be in the description box below. So once the project is loaded, I've got plenty of doors in the project and each door has uh, some information associated with it. So uh, some of it is in this IFC door information property set, such as the function, the type mark, which I would want to get. And um, then some of it is in the pset door common, such as uh, fire rating. And the door type is one of the attributes. So we will learn how to extract data from attributes and also from properties. And for the data extraction, we'll be using on the, on the scene tab, then we'll go to the quality and coordination tab. And here we'll be using the spreadsheet import export tool. For our reference, I'm using Blender Bin 23.11.04 version. So how to set up the spreadsheet import export? First, I will be uh, getting data from my model, which is loaded. So I will click load from memory and in the setup of the export, I can set up whether I want to export to CSV file, XLSX file or ODS. So I will choose ODS so I don't have to fiddle with the CSV. And this is the only thing that I will change in the setup. And now first we had to add the search group where we will be adding filters from which classes or attributes or types will be filtering. So I will filter by class because I want to create a shadow of doors. So I will select to filter by class and the class name will be IFC door. I have to type that in. I have to know the class names. So I could add more filters, but for me, uh, IFC door is enough. And now here I select which uh, attributes or properties will be, uh, will be uh, displayed in the schedule. So I will add CSV attribute and it offers me class and IFC class. So for this reference, I will leave it as it is and we will we will look at it in the exported ODS file. So let's first export this simple setup, export IFC to ODS and um, I will name it uh, schedule door and I will export it and on my disk the file is created and once I open it you could see that I've got um, two columns and now the important one is the second one because it states IFC class and it shows the class of each instance. The global ID is unique identifier of each of the door instance. So this is not that much interesting, but uh, let me show you one thing, which is the the, the column name is IFC class and if I go back to a blender BIM and this is what it's searching for and this is the name of the column. So if I would select uh, IFC class name here and I would export it to uh, ODS again and I will reload the file here you can see that the second column is changed to IFC class name. 
So this is what it, the data it's searching for and this is the name of the column. Now let's add another column and let's say in the second one I would want to have the, the type name. So I will look for object type and I will get to the syntax a little bit later about these queries and for the name of the of the column I don't want to have IFC class there so I will delete this and if this field is empty it will get the oops there's a typo check type uh, and if this uh, this uh, field is empty it will it will get the uh, the name of this one so if we export the door schedule and if I reload my file, you can see that in this in this next column we've got object type and the name of the of the um, of the door type. So this is the list of instances. It goes far away, and this is the name. These are the names of the types of the door. Now let's get more columns to the table. But first, let me split this viewport here yeah, let's change it to properties so i can select one of the doors so so far we have extracted the object type information and the, the class information and now let's get the information of uh, fire rating so it's in the property set p set door common which we have to uh, we have to type in so let's another csv attribute let's delete let's uh, change and here first we have to type in the property set uh, the property set name so p set underscore uh, underscore door come on and now a dot and now the, the name of the property so let's say fire rating and uh, here uh, will be the name of the column so I will name it fire rating okay so the spelling has to be right and now if I export the export the schedule and reload it again you've got the fire rating column which here you can say most of them don't have any fire rating but some of the doors have the proper fire rating now another column we wanted to have was the function column from the property, property set IFC door information. So I will add an attribute and uh, I will type here the name of the column. Okay, and now here if I write the name of the property set IFC door in information dot and then function if I try to export um, I got uh, an error this is because the name uh, if the name uh, of the property or the property set includes uh, spaces I have to put the whole name into the quotation marks so IFC uh, door information in the quotation marks. Now if I export and reload again, we should see that we've got the function uh, function table. Most of the doors are interior as you can see. So the schedule is nicely populating now i will add the most important one which is the type mark uh, which uh, so door type uh, which will then be grouping with so it's again in the quotations 
ifc dar information dot uh, and again this this one must be in the quotations because it, it has space in it so let me just move these viewports like this yes it's correct and now we can see again we've got uh, we've got the door type column let's start with a little bit of formatting I want to have the door type as the first column and I don't need the information about the the class because I know all of them are doors so I will delete the class and um, I will move the door type sorry up up and up and the object type I will name the column door type name and yep so what I also want to do is get rid of, rid of this global ID global ID column because uh, in the schedule it should not be there but it's not here it's in the setup of the of the export where you can disable this in, uh, include global ID so then GUIDs are not shown so now if I export to ODS and I reload the file you can see that there's no global ID the door type is the first column and it's uh, nicely nicely populated like this what we want to do now is group all of the door types D01 and D02 together into one uh, one line in the in the in the schedule because we don't want to see each instance. How do we do that? Here in under the add CSV attribute, we've got this option to show grouping, and there's no grouping here yet. But if I want to group by door type I can group select group here and if I export to ODS again and reload here you can see that now the schedule is nicely forming um, into what we really want which is to have the schedule of each door type with inform with proper information but what is still missing is the count of the of the number of that door type how do we get the count column to get the count column we will add another csv attribute and we will name it count and this one will be getting uh, we can count by different uh, different criteria but, but we will want to count the by the type marks the type doors so I will copy this uh, this uh, information here and I will add dot count so this is the syntax for counting counting by this attribute or by this property but if I now export to ODS and I will reload the file you can see that it's showing me the count basically for each for each just for the one instance it's not summing up the count so back in blender beam we have to again group the count and we will use the sum so it will sum the count of this uh, this information so let's again export to uh, ODS and now you can see that we've got the real counts of the door type D01 there are six of these D02 there are three of these D11 there are 177 of these so this is the syntax for the schedule we want to get
if we wanted to also include the total number of all of the doors, so the sum of the sum, we can select the show summary and the summary can uh, summarize this, this information. So we will choose the sum again. And now if we export to ODS, you will see that if we reload the file, here is the total sum of all of the all of the doors. So this is the data extracted. And now it's basically just uh, you know some uh, some simple formatting in the in your in your spreadsheet application to get the desired schedule. So it will look like this. And this is what we wanted to get to get the information from our IFC file into the schedule. Now this query might be a bit hard or confusing, but um, it's, it's very powerful and it's not that hard to learn. There are a few rules. Uh, to know more information, uh, there are there's a selector syntax example on the blender bin pages I will link, link this page in the description box below and you can see examples of how you can set up the query so that it outputs the right information so this is really useful source so this is how you can extract any data from your IFC model I hope this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.